chosen ones were you were you were you chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video right great yes chosen one let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video for the day all right chosen one yes that is so beautiful chosen ones that is so beautiful you read the title of this video they thought that they are irreplaceable and you replace them and they are bitter offended mad about it they are losing it because you replace them and it is simple it is just that you as a chosen one you understand that you are not perfect and they are not perfect yes i'm not perfect you are not perfect and they too they are not perfect and you have to accept them for who they are and accept yourself for who you are so that you can live your best life become a better version of yourself so you leave them to themselves whilst you focus on you you start to mind your own business because at the end of the day only you can change yourself yes you can't force others to change and if you cannot change them you have to replace them yes if you can't change them change them which means if you cannot change them you got to replace them that's it as simple as that so having this understanding you don't even bother yourself yes for trying putting in effort for them to change no they got to realize that no i don't want this life anymore i want to become a better version of myself i want to change right and if they're not realizing that or they they've not come to an awareness of that you cannot force them you can take the horse to the riverside but you cannot force the horse to drink the water so having this understanding you know that people are people and they are always going to be people. No matter how hard you try to help them, to support them, to change them, they will still be who they want to be. Oh, yes. So you said, no way. I'm not going to stress myself anymore. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be forcing anybody to change. Yes, I, I'm just going to be myself. And you start to focus on yourself. And... You realize that no in this life certain people are worth sacrificing for than certain people even though we know we we all know perfect but there are people that when you sacrifice for them you realize that they deserve that sacrifice so okay if we are not perfect why not choose somebody worth wealthy of sacrificing for yes so you now choose somebody who is worthy of sacrificing for and that comes their replacement and they are mad they are bitter they are offended that is not your fault you see it doesn't mean you hate them it means you understand and respect people for who they are and you love yourself so much self-love is key you understand that no you've you've been with yourself for so so and so yes maybe you are in your 20s you are in your 30s you are in your 40s you are in your 50s you are in your 60s you've been with yourself for that long and only you are gonna be with yourself yes and the only love that is going to sustain you for the rest of your life is not the love of a man or the love of a woman. It is that love that you genuinely have for your creator and the love that you have for yourself and you focusing on your purpose. Things that are going to bring money into your pocket. These are the things that are going to sustain you for the rest of your life. Oh yeah so understanding this you said no i'm not gonna waste more time i'm not gonna bother anymore i'm not gonna force anybody people should be who they want to be and i am also gonna be 
who I want to be. And since you've came to that conclusion, you have huge understanding and you have your peace of mind. You have your peace of heart. Things are now moving on well for you. Yes. You see, the problem with many people is they don't want to accept themselves for who they are. Yes. A lot of people are not working on themselves, but yet they want to be with someone who spent time, energy, working on himself or herself. That is not the right beginning. Yes. So you understand that in this life here, we all have our levels. And that is okay. So I'm going to be me and you too. Be you. As simple as that. But because they don't have the wisdom, they are bitter and offended. Yes, they only want shortcuts. They only want to drain you. They only want to benefit where they've not so. Yes, they want to get something without earning it. They want to have you without earning you. And that is not going to happen. Yes, because life didn't just happen for you. You put in the work. To get to the level that you are, you've really put in the work. And for you to sustain what you've really worked for, suffered for, toyed for, sweat for, get hurt for, receive some cuts and some scars and, you know, for. You need somebody who has also put in the work so that you join force with, you join hands with, and with they being on your team, you can protect what you've labored for, what you've struggled for, all this work. And it is only someone just like you who has been through similar situation what you've also been through. Someone who has also gone through and really came to a realization and work on themselves and improve themselves. Someone who knows where you're going. And, you know, they have the same vision and mission just like you. These are the people that's you replace them with. This is the sort of person you replace them with. And they are mad, bitter, and offended. Why are they mad? They are mad, bitter, and offended because, yes, they want a shortcut. They are mad, bitter, and offended because they don't accept themselves for who they are. The moment you accept yourself for who you are, and you realize that, no, there is greater things to achieve. There are better things to achieve. You can do better in life. You start to focus on yourself. And you will never be projecting yourself on people. That people should accept you for who they are, for, for, for who you are, without working on yourself. It doesn't happen that way. Yes. And it is surprising. People will find codes to support their behaviors that can be worked on, emotions that can be worked on. Emotions are feelings. Feelings can be worked on. Emotions can be worked on. If you have anger issue, you can work on your anger issue. If you have quick temper, you know, you can work on those things. If you have envy and jealousy, you can work on all sorts of things. They are emotions. Yes, so it can be changed. But they don't want to work on it. And they want to be accepted. Yes, you accept them. But you say no. I know what you made up of cannot help me grow. So be where you are. And allow me to also be where I want to go. Yes, you understand that, yeah? In this life, not everybody see things the way you see. And where you go, with, not everybody is going to take you there. Not everybody can go with you. So you only have to choose people that can go with you. And those that can't, cannot, and you can't change them. You got to quit.
quickly replace them. Yes, but they are bitter and offended because they feel entitled. There is some sort of dependency. Oh yeah. And this normally happens. You see, it normally happens. When you help somebody, all right, for the first time, they're going to appreciate you second time. It's going to, you know, show an appreciation. Uh, yeah. An anticipation. When you do it for the third time, you know, there is this sort of um, expectation. When you do it for the f fourth time, there is, um, there is entitlement, right? For the fourth time, there is this sort of entitlement. They feel entitled. And when you do it for them, for the fifth time, it produces or leads to dependency. That's it. That is people. When you help them or support them or give them something for the first time, they're going to appreciate. The second time, it leads to anticipation. The third time, it's leads to expectation right the fourth time it leads to entitlement and the fifth time dependency and when you cannot help support be there for them for the sixth time and subsequent time they become bitter and offended because there is the sort of dependency entitlement expectation oh yeah and because they are of low vibe, low energy, they don't want to put in their way. They're going to hate you for being there for them for some time. But when you were there for them, you were expecting them that they change for the better. There were things you were cautioning them about it. This behavior, I don't like it. This, I don't like it. That, I don't like it. Yet, they've not correct themselves and repent of whatever wrong and you replace them and they become bitter and offended they are angry that's it but you should understand they are they and you are you you are the prize they are not the prize right and since you are the prize you need to focus on you because only you know where you're going only you know what you want in this life. It is not them. It is you. So, keep focusing on you. Alright? And put your energy where it will be appreciated. Your energy where, you know, um, people are going to um, reciprocate it right that's it you can do for people certain things you can be good to them how they retain that energy it is not it is not yours to decide but you can choose to replace them yes if you can't change them you can choose to replace them and choose who you're going to be with because only you know where you're going in life. And you did that and they are mad, bitter, and offended. Chosen one. You are not at fault. You are valuable. You are the prize. You need love. You need care. You've done so much for people. It is time to focus on you. It is time to work on you. It is time to become your true and authentic self. A better version of yourself you don't hate them yes it is self love yes you can't have you can't give okay sorry you can't give what you do not have so you need to give yourself that love first before that love can reflect on other people so take care of yourself thank you so much see you in my next video I'm out for now peace